Tonight I'm talking about sacrifice, oh, sacrificing our pride, which to me means humbling ourselves. A quote from none other than C.S. Lewis says, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. Humility is not thinking of yourself as ugly or inadequate or unworthy of respect. Humility is simply thinking about others more and thinking about yourself less. So, who do we look to as an example of pretty much anything good? You guessed it, Jesus. Jesus sacrificed many things for our sake. He sacrificed time spent in heaven to be honored. And he sacrificed his very own life to save humanity. What Jesus also sacrificed was his equality with God for the sake of serving others. Philippians 2, 5 through 7 states, Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. So in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Okay. If Jesus can sacrifice his equality with God, we can sacrifice our human pride to help humbly serve others. Having the mindset and attitude of Jesus means we will not let position, status, or superior qualities and skills get in the way of serving. True servants are not status seekers. True servants sacrifice pride to serve those around them. So what does this humble servanthood look like? It's losing a sense of entitlement. It's putting your own comforts aside to work for the good of others. Notice I said work. <laughs> yes, to serve others is to put work in. Laziness does not fit the job title for being a true servant to others. Humble servanthood also means we identify with those we serve, just as Jesus did. Jesus not only came to where we live, but he became one of us, being made in human likeness, as the scripture says. <laughs> Servants that reflect you, Jesus <laughs> empathize and enter into the lives of those they serve. We are here to serve our homeowners and the locals of Noble, but we're also here to serve our fellow teammates, our adult volunteers, and God. Another way we can sacrifice our pride is by asking questions. No one here knows everything. And it's okay to not know things, and it's actually expected that you not know things. We'll be using a lot of different tools on each site, and it's okay for you to not know what they're called or how to use them. Heck, I don't even know how to use a Skyhook perfectly, and that's okay. It's a good thing to be a learner. We're all learners, and we can all grow together. Whether the growth in knowledge be in construction, in fellowship, or in faith, it's always good to grow. So let's sacrifice our pride and adopt a learner's attitude. And with that, let's all try to make it an environment that welcomes questions. People here are happy to answer any questions you have, whether it be about tools or about God. Sometimes others don't know the answers as well, but that's okay, because we'll figure out together. Because again, we're all learners. Another way we can sacrifice our pride is by understanding our position with God and obeying His call on our life. By position, I mean this. God is here. We are here. We are not on the same level, and that's the way it is. God, in all His righteousness, has authority over us. Romans 13.10 says, Love does not harm to love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. According to the scripture, if we want to sacrifice our pride to obey God and his law, we love our neighbors. God calls us not to be pools, but to be rivers. A pool is poured into and contains the water, or for the sake of the metaphor, it's, it's love. Whereas a river is poured into and continually gives the love it receives. God's will is for us to share the love we have from him with others. So when you feel led to share encouraging words with someone or give someone a hug or include them in an activity or conversation, that's the Holy Spirit, who's God's helper, tugging at your heart to do the will of the Father. What an honor we have to be a wrecking force in God's plan. Let's recognize that he's bigger and his will is supreme. So when we sacrifice our pride out of respect to God's authority, we become rivers that don't hesitate to let love live. Overall, the sacrifice of pride brings about humble servants who don't like Jesus, learners who know it's okay to ask questions, and followers who submit to God's plan by freely loving others. Now, we will enter into a time of reflection. <laughs>